Ada Electric Cars was invited to Tulsa this morning to show off its line of street legal, low speed electric cars at a meeting to let tax advisors and attorneys learn about state and federal tax credits for such vehicles. I have several clients who have been interested in the low speed vehicles. Since 1995, Oklahoma has offered a 50% tax credit on electric cars. And until the end of this year, the federal government has a similar credit. You combine the two, and um, clients have the potential of getting these vehicles basically for free. And so they're looking at me as the tax preparer wanting to know, is this a real deal? Do I qualify? What vehicles are they? Since Ada Electric Cars went into business just over a year ago, it sold about 400 of these electric cars. But right now, sales are way off because customers are afraid they won't get a tax credit that they thought they could. That's because even though the vehicles they sell are made for street use, they resemble golf carts. Last week, the Tax Commission issued what it calls a rules clarification, saying golf carts and electric vehicles made primarily for recreational use don't qualify for the credit. Why did the state put a hold on this? The state credit, the federal credit's new, but the state credit's actually been around since 1995. So my first question is, okay, why if the states had this credit since 95, why do they have a question as to whether or not certain vehicles qualify? I would think they should know by now. I don't see any way at all where it's uh, correct or proper that the tax commission changed the rules in the middle of the game. It's, I would say, unethical, it's immoral, and we think it's illegal. So as bad as the tax commission may not like this tax credit opportunity, we believe they need to go back and go ahead and allow the credits as they were put in place to begin with. Tax commission spokesperson Paula Ross says the clarification was issued because there are now lots more types of electric vehicles available than when the rule was originally written. And because of a surge in interest in applying for it because of the opportunity to combine the state and federal tax credits. She says the commission understands many people have been inconvenienced or confused by its clarification, which still has to go through the governor for his approval before a specific list of qualifying vehicles can be formulated. In the meantime, she says, people can still purchase electric cars and apply for the state tax credit. And if it is denied on the model they choose, they can appeal. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.